It's officially Eurovision week, and I, as ever, have my faves. And I'm so, so excited for the shows. But before we begin, if you are new here, please subscribe. Make videos about all things Eurovision that you'll love. So yes, indeed, I have listened to all 40 of this year's acts, and somehow I have managed to whittle that down to a personal top five. And as ever with my list videos, this isn't based on odds, it's purely my own personal favourite. And we shall go from the bottom up, starting at number five. And it feels very weird to say this, my country, the United Kingdom. <laughs> I honestly cannot believe what the UK have done this year. Sam Ryder is a miracle. Spaceman is exactly the sort of sound I've been longing for us to send. That typical British Britpop influenced David Bowie, Elton John style. And then you add in Sam's incredible vocals and you just have dare I say, a winning package. And I wanna go home. Next to fourth place, the Czech Republic. Try changing jobs, try changing lovers, changing my furniture, change my bed covers. Lights Off is this awesome electro synth, almost Scandi sounding track that I have just had on repeat. It's exactly the sort of music I love outside of the contest, so to see it up on that stage it just ticks all of the boxes for me. And then you add in yet more amazing vocals, this time from Dominica. The way she belts out that hook, it's just, just flawless. Now to third, my bronze medalist, Spain. What a glow up Spain have had. Berdon Fest might have been my favourite national final this year. And the result of that competition, Chanel's slow-mo, what? What a perfect track. It's that classic Eurovision female powerhouse bop with some sexy dance moves and an insanely catchy hook. It is the full package and quite rightly so, this is just going to explode into it. And in second place, my runner up, Norway. And before that wolf eats my grandma, give that wolf a banana, give that wolf. It is so close to being a joke act. Keith and Jim are ridiculous. DJ Spaceman is absurd, but it's a great, great performance and they sell it so well. It's just the right brand of wacky that I love. And before we get to the top spot, some honourable mentions. Of course, I have to mention Ukraine. What Karish Orchestra are doing is incredible. I think whatever place they end up on the night will be very, very much deserved. And then there's Estine from the Netherlands. It's so lovely to see them sending something in Dutch again and the meaning behind the songs that raw emotion she brings cuts through that language barrier and it just gets me every time what about latvia and city zeni instead of meat i eat veggies and they have to be the most energetic act this year. They are so full of beans. And yes, the act is silly, it is ridiculous, but it's also about being eco-friendly, looking after 
the planet, it's a really clever way to get a serious subject across. Eat your salad, save the planet, being green is sexy as. But what about my winner, I hear you ask? My winner, Sweden. Well, maybe you're right, I'll find someone else. You say it isn't me, but when did that ever help? Hold Me Closer is this gut-wrenchingly beautiful power ballad. It's so sombre and meaningful, but it builds into this fast-paced crescendo. It's a proper ride of emotion. And it's simple, it's a little rough and raw, it's not the perfect polished Scandi pop we've come to know Sweden for. They're taking a chance and my god is it paying off. But enough of me, what about you, humble viewer? Who are your favourites of this year's Eurovision? Let me know down below in the comments. I'm really interested to hear who you're digging. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. The grand final is mere days away now and you could be guaranteed I'll be reacting to all the big wins and losses of the night very soon. And to keep watching, just click the links on screen now. Oh.